Hello, everyone. It is I, your humble host, Berserk, uh, here with another episode of the Collection Nexus. And this is a very exciting one. Like, no pressure. It's uh, we're just going to do it like normal. Um, joining us, like always, we got Jurassic Jesse. There hey, we go. what's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Here, you know, you're not too tired from WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> or, or is that just me? Uh, that'd be that'd be you. That's you. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I, uh, represent. <laughs> Did you get everything that you wanted out of it? Uh, everything and then some. You know, I'm still I'm still recovering. Right on. <laughs> All righty, and you know, always exciting. And we also got our fellow host here, which is the. You ready to come out, or you get in a, a case of the? There we go. We Hi, got everybody. Toy box of doom. Drew, thank you for joining us again. Almost like we have it scheduled. <laughs> yeah, fancy that. <laughs> like, uh, what's up, Drew? Not much, man. I'm excited to be here. Uh, excited to be doing the show tonight. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm always stoked to chat with you guys about toys and other fun stuff but man we've got a fantastic fantastic guest tonight don't we berserk oh yeah yeah it's uh he's well known around the community he has something going on right now that we are all excited to talk about uh funny thing is that he's the first guest that we've not had any interaction with before this so you know let's bring him in the man of the hour jason hey hello how are we doing tonight? Great, Jason. How did are we, you, man? Did we make I... it through Monday okay? <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, abs we did. absolutely. We're... Thanks thanks so much for doing this, man. We appreciate you taking the time. Oh, thanks for having me. Did everyone get to see the eclipse? I thought, the, no. I thought the whole point was not to look directly at the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it for over an hour, so I can't. Everything's just like a big blur in the middle. It's just like oh. a big black dot. Oh wow! No, were, were, were you no, in I'm like joking. the? Are you in the? Oh okay, I was gonna say, are you in the path? Yeah, we of were like, as they called it. We were almost in full totality. We were. I'm in Louisiana, and uh, so we were like three hours uh, east of the total. Uh, Total eclipse, but we use the uh, special glasses to kind of look in between the clouds. It was it's a surreal experience, I'll say that. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, I I know people were like traveling and stuff for it, like like taking plane flights yeah. and stuff to other states yeah. and all that, which is wild. Yeah, but, I mean, it, apparently you know, it's hey, it's it's more rare than we realize. Uh, I thought they happened like once every two years or something, but um, it's usually over the ocean or something. So there was people all over the like the Midwest that were. Uh, kind of camping out to to check it out. Yeah, I, I think between that and the cicadas coming, everyone's kind of losing their minds. It's kind of amusing. I'm excited watch. about the cicadas. I love them. I love like our local cicadas are like so relaxing sounding. I've I've tried to look them. I've tried to look up like cicadas for like a uh, nighttime, and like they're just like annoying. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what yours sound like, but ours are like really relaxing. Yeah, and if it well, I'm, I'm, at homes, it'll put you right to sleep, right? Right. Yeah, totally. So, we we got which which plague are we on? I, I'm losing I'm losing track. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I get the Roman numerals blurred together. It's like brood numbers or right? whatever. But uh, <laughs> two of them are coming this year. So, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's what's so rare. Uh, they don't normally yeah. uh, they don't normally uh, emerge at the same time. So, should be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. We got all well, the earthquakes and uh yeah we had the know, earthquake i forgot about that yeah <laughs> like the, as soon as the rivers will turn red and all that stuff. <laughs> Checking off the bingo and, card and, and, dino Apocalypse bingo and dinosaurs card. will roam the earth yeah, yeah. let's go let's go <laughs> you know, well they, they they overdrew our tribal chief so you know it's bound to happen like, no, oh, yeah i mean us. <laughs> this is the game we played <laughs> So Jason, hey man, thanks for joining us, man. I know you you've been going on your world tour. Uh, I've been watching the videos. You guys are <laughs> look like you're having a lot of fun. Um, hopefully we can. Bring we are. We're having a great time. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, man. Thanks for having me. 
Yeah, Wade had fun collecting brothers. Uh, Brick, it was good seeing you on there, Brick. Um, Adam, uh, good job out there, Adam, by the way. Um, but Jason, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we just definitely want to talk toys with you tonight. Uh, get into your Spiro Beast um, uh, AWOC Kickstarter that you have going on. We want to talk all things toys. Just have fun tonight. What do you say, Ronald? That sounds like a plan. Let's oh, do yeah. it. We are, we are definitely going to get to know Jason, you know. What's he all about? What's he? What makes him tick as a as a collector, and you know what he has going on? For sure, definitely. But before that, um, I see we have a few new faces on our uh, on our chat today. Yeah, which is thanks everybody. You wanna? I guess since I'm having main duty, I'll I'll give him a little shout out. We got Let's missing do it. dolphin. New name, Sandals Copter. He's been here a few. He's, what's uh, up? Always Sandals good to see him. What's up? You know, Austin M. And uh, yeah. Collecting Brothers. Hey. Nice. And we got... Oh, there you are. We got Jason. <laughs> yep, there's Jason. The tribe. That's me. I like it. <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we got Game Quest as well. What's up? Kato's collection yeah. and collection reviews. What's up, Kato? Yeah, remind, reminding Thanks everybody to sub to the channel. Please do. Thank That's you. much appreciated. Uh, and same to him. I know he was another stop in your, in your world tour that you're in, correct? Yep, we were just on there. Uh, took a little break, and now we're, now we're here with continuing the fun. I see Adam oh, yeah. and Brick. What's up, guys? Yeah, Solos Center. <laughs> was, uh, Toy Brigade. Hey. Yeah. yeah, still still recovering from his devastating Mario Party loss this weekend. Ooh. I'm sure. Were there blue shells involved? <laughs> uh, no, there was a lot of star thievery involved, but uh, oh, okay. it was a good All it was right. a good time. It was a good time. <laughs> there we go. We got. We got Derek, Ray Pye. What's up, Derek? Ray, how's it going? What's up, Ray? Where's Jim? Hey, that's Jurassic, me. Jurassic, Jurassic Jesse, Jesse cool as well. We got a... <laughs> no, We're doing awesome. Obi-Wan King, King Gones. Oh, what's up? Well, hello. I, uh, up, I've been Obi-Wan? wanting to say that, you know, on the stream for a while. So thank you for, <laughs> for finally joining us. <laughs> that's a great, like, a great handle for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then highly articulated. Hey, and, uh, uh, what's up, man? They're Obi-Wan keeping me has... sane. No sleep till Mamba. I love it. I love That's it. That's right. <laughs> yeah, no, that hashtag. We need a. We need shirts of that. Although by the time we get the we shirt, can, we can arrange that. It'll, it'll be funded by the time we get the shirt. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, yeah. cross. Let's make it right. I kind of like uh, I kind of like Brick's version. Uh, no sleep till better Louisiana internet. Which uh, oh my god, you know. <laughs> what, what's funny is like so so that I live in like the outskirts of a suburb, and the town, like the main town that I live near, it was one of the first towns in the uh, the United States to get fiber. But I live like I live like on the line of two counties and on the outskirts of two cities. So like. The internet's just not reached us yet. I mean, I'm using like a, a little a hotspot booster to to do all these uh, do all these uh, press tour things. So it's it's uh, problematic at best, but we'll we'll make it work. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. Well, we're we're just joking. Lots of love to Louisiana. I actually drove from where I live in Los Angeles to New Orleans for Mardi Gras back in 2017, and it was one of the best experiences of my oh, life. Man. So lots of love Sorry to Louisiana. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love I love the culture. It's just the uh, the heat and the uh, humidity or or yeah, yeah not, the humidity uh, is, uh, is pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, it's brutal. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. Um, who else we got? Oh, toys from the crypt. Oh, what's crypt. up? I like Ooh. that handle. That's a cool handle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, no, and then you know these. You, thank you guys for joining us live. <laughs> you know, don't forget to hit the like subscribe it gets us you know it gets more people joining us in in these you know wacky times that we're that we're doing uh 
but not to forget the people that you know aren't awake i know it's kind of hard for a lot of the people out in the east coast and uh we had um captain mckay uh last episode he he watched he commented so did fan again collectibles he's been every 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 episode he's been watching we truly appreciate it and then and then go figure go yeah so go yeah, lots of love to go figure. Go, a fellow a uh, Coheed fan. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good eye, sniper. That's right. Whoa. That's right. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, was I just at a concert? Just a <laughs> concert? What just happened? Man. Happened? That was crazy. Do not add gasoline to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to turn well, into just a whole, you know. Two hours of music talk, <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Right, um, but 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 no. Th- thanks to everyone in the chat for joining us. Who's watching us live? Thanks to everyone in the yeah. replay crew. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and leave a comment and let us know you're in the replay crew watching this after the fact, and we'll shout you out next week because we appreciate everyone who checks out the show. Okay. And with that, um, um, so what brings you over, Jason? Uh, tell us a little about yourself, like. A quick uh, elevator. Yeah, so, so I'm the managing partner at Spiro, and uh, my daily duties include art director. So I, I oversee the projects that we're working on. Um, you know, I, I coordinate with all the sculptors and the 2D artists, and I also write the comic uh, for for Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, as well as doing the paint masters and packaging design. So I, I've kind of got my my little little skinny little fingers and all the all the pieces of the pie as far as uh spiro goes uh but yeah we're doing this kickstarter right now we're our, our first kickstarter for the six inch line featured two different body types uh with about 27 points of articulation uh we did uh two other waves after the kickstarter and we're doing this kickstarter because we are essentially going to quadruple our our parts catalog so we'll be getting a reptile body uh, a brawler body which is like a more muscular version of this fit this body this is kind of like the your your quintessential uh hero body so we'll be getting that more muscular body same articulation uh and then we're doing female bucks which we're super excited about and then we're uh we're rounding it out with a, a speedster buck which is kind of more like a lean build you know so they can do a little bit more acrobats and stuff. And we're actually, uh, I think we're about a little less than 30 K away from unlocking another buck, which will be birds. So we've got three birds planned for that. And, uh, you know, so far we've unlocked all of our stretch goals, which is fantastic. Uh, so now, you know, backers will be getting, uh, all the, all the figures they order will be getting uh, an additional pack in head. No extra cost. It's just part of the figure now. Uh, they get additional hands. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, pinless figures on this go around. The, the last time we had pins, and then some of the figures are going to have calf cuts. So we've got just all kind of really exciting figures. Uh, two of the characters actually have uh, parts of them that move 360 on the head. So we've got a lizard that's got uh, 360 eye movement, and we've got a rabbit that's got 360 ear movement. <laughs> And uh, all the lizards mouths open and close. So there's just a bunch of really fun items that we're offering. Uh, we included uh, one of the things that we wanted to improve on from the last one was uh, our weapon sets were really fun, but they were essentially just repaints of items that were packed in with the figures. This time we wanted to kind of like really showcase uh, those weapon sets. So basically 90% of the weapon pack uh is uh, you know unique to the weapon pack. It's not included with the figures. There are like a couple little odds and ends here and there, but for the most part, it's you know uh, these standalone weapons that you're gonna want to kind of like trick out your your AWOC figures, your Masters figures. Uh, you could probably do. Uh, there's a new line called uh, Savage Crucible coming out. You could use that. Mythic Legions. We all love that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. B- basically, any kind of like sword and sorcery stuff. Perfect for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I definitely bought the weapons packs and the the glow and dark ones. It's so cool. Yeah, I mean, I had obviously the AWOC in mind, but you know, mid regions and other stuff. I mean, exactly. And they glowed pretty bright. I was surprised how much they glowed. 
Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah. Uh, Mythic Dolphin here is saying uh, the Kickstarter is at uh, two hundred and thirty-seven six forty-two in pledges. And have steady, have held steady all night. We need more people to back the Kickstarter. Epic all ends is the best value. It saves more than four hundred dollars. Yeah, so uh, we're we're definitely going to delve into the Kickstarter. Yeah, thanks thanks for uh, yeah. for for mentioning that. We're definitely going to be uh, uh, plugging that Kickstarter, and hopefully, you guys uh, who haven't backed it will back it after uh, after we showcase some what's going on with it. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> um well yeah so uh with with that being said um do, uh, do you guys want to move along to our archive figures of the week yeah let's go yeah let's, yeah let's uh let's go ahead and start with those and i'm gonna go we go one on one so one by one i guess <laughs> we'll start with with jesse you're this up week. i'm going first all right yeah, you know, let's take a little break from AWOC and just talk some toys for a little bit. Um, this is my archive figure of the week. It's an anthropomorphic animal. Um, this oh, one man, the, the poacher? Back. Yeah, the poacher. Dude. You got it. Yeah, yes. the old Potty Mac uh, statue uh, kind of figure. Um, I brought this one in today for obvious reasons, but if we can get that elephant and right. <laughs> what was the hashtag again um no sleep, <laughs> no till, sleep mama. till mamba no sleep till mamba i mean I, that thing is going to be double what triple the size of this thing uh it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of plastic um and that's what i want i want a big chonky elephant i mean as much as toddy mac put the paint and sculpt and details dude in this it guy, looks awesome he looks awesome on the shelf but if he was just, i just wish know, he wasn't so static <laughs> um yeah. so like that really doesn't bug me too much i do like to play with my toys as much as anybody but, sure you know most of the time they're going to be on the shelf so right this is cool for me personally but like mamba like that thing i want to pose it i want to play with it i want to take pictures of it yeah this thing does yeah. the job but i cannot wait i want i want mamba so yeah so yeah, that, i'd love that's to my do a archive. butcher homage eventually Ooh, that'd be really cool. I mean, he got he got deep. Like, see the little tattoos dude. all over him. I know, um, man. That thing is insanely awesome. That's such a gold. cool figure, dude. Yeah, this thing is super cool. Yeah. He's got tusks on him, big old blade, right. got chains hanging off of him. Um, I I, did, uh, I heard that you um are gonna have removable tusks on yeah, him. Yeah, we will Different because we want to have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, different shapes and stuff. Cool. You know. Maybe Should a be segmented fun. nose, get that, you know. We're going to do some sort of articulation for it, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So if this doesn't get, get your uh, gears going, you guys, to back that Kickstarter, I mean, ooh, I don't know what will because I want the, I want that elephant. That's what I want. I want all of them. I agree. Like the elephant yeah. is like, boom. <laughs> we tried to make it hard to pick just one out of the, out of the figures. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's a minimum <laughs> of two, you know. I mean, there's a few that I got my eyes on, but that elephant, oof. I like them, I like them big. I like them thick and chunky, right? <laughs> Mambo, Mambo. Ma what's his? Moto, moto. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's it. That's my figure archive of the week. Nice. Good pick, Jesse. Thanks. Awesome. And as for, for you, Drew, what you got? Oh, um, well, I wanted to throw a curveball and, and do something completely different. It's not a, you know, uh, uh, anthropomorphic uh, animal guy or anything. I've just been on this major Transformers kick lately, and I just wanted to talk about Galvatron. Oh, wow. This, this is the fan's toy sovereign, and this is the best Galvatron that I think has ever been made and possibly will ever be made. Wow. Uh, it's done by a third-party company called Fans really? Toys. They don't have the rights to it, so it's a different name. It's called Sovereign. This is the second version that they did. Uh, it's in a more movie-accurate color deco. The original character was voiced by Leonard Nimoy in the 1986 movie, uh, and his performance as the character was like a uh, well, very kind of stoic and... Uh, direct kind of understated sort of character but he only did the voice in the movie and you know when they brought the character back in season three they had frank welker who voiced megatron do the voice and he made galvatron into like an insane psychopath like <laughs> like, <laughs> like like it's wild how different the character is funny. So, 
so um i i just i i get a kick out of this character i love this design it's um you know die cast parts the articulation is excellent like he can do the splits and stuff like it's really well made. He got, he's got the uh, matrix of leadership on the chain there, which is really cool. There's some swappable face plates, but you have to, unfortunately, there's like a screw that you have to unscrew in the back of his head. You mm. can see the, oh, the hole back mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's kind of annoying, but um, I think it's just because of the helmet design. But uh, it's still a really good figure. And like I said, probably the best Galvatron that's ever been made. And some retailers still have it, even though it's like a few years old. It is very expensive, though. It's like usually around $200, $250. So it's not cheap. Um, but anyway, uh, I've, I've been enjoying Transformers lately, so I wanted to talk about Transformers. Uh, Sweet. That's why I painted the duck blue. All right, that's what I got. <laughs> and now um, I want to see you transform it. Like, yeah, oh, right I'll set the timer right now. That's <laughs> yeah, two hours <laughs> later. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, these these things are are engineered to be like a almost like a Rubik's cube. You know, they're 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 it's like a puzzle. This one's actually kind of a simpler one. But generally speaking, Masterpiece Transformers, the engineering is pretty involved and it takes some time to transform them for sure. But it's very satisfying and worth it when you finally do. So how much of that is die cast? Um, man, uh, there, I, I wouldn't say the whole thing is. Uh, it's hard to say. There are definitely parts that you can touch where you feel that it's cold and that's how you can tell, you know, but yeah he's definitely got some weight to him it's definitely a mix yeah. of of uh, a die cast and hard plastic high quality plastic and the paint job is immaculate so it's a great it's a great piece man jason do you transformers at all uh i have some but i don't have a bunch of them i mean i grew yeah. up loving them um i actually kind of like the transformers that don't transform but I don't, I, I didn't buy any of that. I think it was like the red series. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, I really, I, you know, I, I kind of held back. Uh, I wanted yeah. uh, different versions of uh, Optimus and Megatron. Uh, but yeah, right. I, I do have a couple. Right on. Nice. Good pick, Drew. Awesome. I like it. Thanks. Um, All right. Berserk, what you got for us, buddy? Next, next is me. And uh, actually, it's uh, one of the Ewoks, <laughs> you know, or the uh, Legion Builders. What they call Legion Builders, Army Builders. <laughs> but you know, and of course, you know, this this weekend, anything I have, yeah, anything I have has to have a wrestling belt on it. So, so, so he he defeated Cody Rhodes backstage, huh? Is that what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> like they they wanted to end to the story, and now the story's completely done. Like <laughs> he can't challenge for the belt again, you know, until you know somebody cashes in next year's money in the bank. But yeah, no, it's a it's a Legion builder. This one actually has a story attached, so it was given to me by the great Nico Hodge, you Ooh. know, Art Man Customs. I nice. had gotten, I was lucky, oh, wow, and I got awesome. him for uh secret santa this year we were doing ah. a voice chat you know oh, cool. gift exchange and this was one of them. he gave me a custom figure and he gave me this i know it's uh i feel like i have to do something with this like something like mm -hmm. i have to channel my inner creativeness and get this i know he probably had plans for this or he had a few but you know it, it does everything you want like it the butterflies are yeah the butterflies I love those great. butterflies. Oh, yeah, honey. we call They're them so hand candy. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's okay. what they are. Like, and it's in, it's since it's blank. Like, I could create a story. I, I'm just not too custom, custom savvy, and I don't I don't want to break okay. it. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, this, is, well, this is a great figure. That's Nico actually is... one of the main ways I play with toys. Is I I customize them when I get them oh nice nice are you are you pretty handy with the uh with the dremel and the, the scalpel and all that i know you can paint you know you i draw. don't do that uh, I, i'll i'll use an exacto knife every once in a while but it's mostly like kit bashing and just painting that's awesome yeah these are these are great too like the army builders Thank they're you. great for uh -huh. you know, yeah, no, I, painting and customizing it's awesome he could almost be a wrestler like a uh luchador type character or what was it king from uh oh man what was that game king from uh 
Was it Tekken? 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 Oh, yeah. Tekken, Tekken. Yeah. Tekken. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, know, cool, I'm up there with the, I have the wrestling ring right here, which is taking up the majority oh, nice. of my dad. <laughs> so I need to, I do need to fill it with there figures, but mm -hmm. yeah, I know mm -hmm. he, he, like he knew I was into, you know, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. I don't know if through some of the streams or he realized that I didn't get any of the, of the army builders because yeah. I kind of focused on just, you know, the waves of main the, characters the main, and the uh, champions, the main characters, the main, the named ones. And yeah. um, of course, multiple Thanes, because <laughs> how can you resist that big chunky monkey? Exactly. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I was spraying the meme of you know uh, Zac Efron like juggling all these things. I was just pictures of <laughs> just staying there. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, Didn't you have like four of them at one time? Cool. That's I, awesome. I, I had four at one time, and you know, yeah. any reason? Uh, I know he was a prize for the contest that we did on December. Yeah, it was. And oh, I cool. I still have more here, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm be awesome. sure to double up on on a lot of them. Yeah, oh, cool. I have two yeah, of no. them as well. I like to have one with his helmet and one without. One of them's my traveling one. The the helmeted one's my traveling figure. Well, okay. But traveling, but not not a pocket figure. Right? Not a pocket gotta, figure. No, pocket it definitely not in my pocket. <laughs> You're like, is that a thing in your pocket or? <laughs> you gotta you gotta have to get one of those uh, baby Bjorns. Right, right. I, I, it's it's fun to see TSA like try to figure out what it is when it goes through the little check bags. They're like, "What is that? It looks like the Hulk <laughs> or something." And I'm like, "No, it's not the Hulk. It's my monkey." And then you go and you, my, you it's stop my and they clean the it's my monkey. You're like, you're like, come here. Let me let me give you the first issue of uh, you know, Primal. So yeah. you educate yourself. Let me, let me show you what this is all about. Yeah, I'm about to change your world. Well, cool, Ronald. Oh, that's yeah, that. good. The first hit is always free. <laughs> yeah. Very That's great. Right. Yeah. All right. And you, you ready, Jason? Let's go. Yeah. So, uh, so my first pick is Classics He Man. It's definitely oh, wow. got sentimental value. Oh. And I still think they just hold up so well. Like the, the Classics collection was just outstanding. What's interesting is I've had them displayed for so long. Like, you know, the 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 AWOC figures are supposed to be in scale with you know with with mythics and and classified and stuff. And I recently just got uh, the Masterverse version of He-Man, and like he just like towers over him. Look at him; he's like oh, like yeah. half a foot taller. Than him. But yeah, uh, this is my archive pick. I still think it holds up. The paint's gorgeous. The the portrait's great awesome accessories and everything so that's that's my archive figure heck yeah so uh awesome. wh where did you get it did you did you actually find it in the store or this was actually a present i got this and a uh, skeletor wow. at the same time uh nice. my wife at the time we, she was like we we're getting ready to have a kid and we can't spend a lot of money on toys and i was like yeah yeah i get it that makes sense and then she surprised me with it and i was like whoa holy cow so cool but yeah, uh, yeah, they, they definitely have sentimental value. Yeah, that I have the uh, Skeletor, the He Man, uh, the Evil Lynn. Yep, they're great figures. Have, they're still my my favorite Skeletor. Still, they're just gorgeous. I have uh, yeah. him, Skeletor, a uh, Webster, Trapjaw, Beastman, uh, Merman. I didn't get Triclops. I don't have any of the uh, any of the other heroes. But uh, I do have Battle Cat and Panthor as well. So nice. Those are really okay, awesome so, as well. So you grew up on He Man. You did you collect a lot of the yeah? He -Man I grew up on uh, He Man, Thundercats, GI Joe, Transformers, Voltron, uh, and then you know the Ninja Turtles came out, and I think Ninja Turtles was probably the last big cartoon that I was into. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of discovered anime after that, and I was like, oh, this is cool teenage stuff, man. I've got to check this out. <laughs> right on. Well, cool. That's a great right. pick. I love anything. Yeah, here. thank you. Yeah, definitely. Good job. Well, well, sweet. Um, well, with that, 
Um, yeah, we can move on to recent pickups. Recent pickups. So let's keep it up in the the same order. You want me to go? I can go. Yeah. <laughs> or you you, you want to go? If, yeah. If, yeah. If you want to go, first, have, Jason, you can go. Yeah, I'll go first. Sure. That's so uh, I actually just got this guy today. I think he's freaking fantastic. Oh. I didn't get to uh, weather him yet. Like all the jo all my Joes, I like to weather them. Uh, but I just kind of I was going to the store for something else, and I wound up seeing him. So I uh, I couldn't resist. But yeah, he looks freaking cool. He does come with a backpack. I don't think that fits with him. It's like a it's Duke's backpack. But uh, you know everything else. I I say this is like a 9.8 out of 10 is really freaking awesome. And then I actually got uh I actually got this first and this is the same exact figure but it was so good it came with it came with this alternate and I was like I got to uh, get both of them now so <laughs> I wound up getting both of them and then uh I'll show one more thing and then I'll let someone else have a turn. I've been waiting for this saber tooth from Marvel Legends. Oh. Essentially, like, like maybe like eight months after this figure was impossible to get, or the original. Uh, I've been trying to get that figure ever since. So I don't know how long ago that figure came out, but uh, this figure is absolutely insanely awesome. And I mean it, that the Logan's uh, the Logan's actually really really cool too, but. I just feel like this one just he just really overshadows Logan, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, I, I, this is just stuff that I'm just got hanging out on my table. This is obviously an older figure, but I've been waiting for yeah. these two to like clash for Heck, yeah. years now. So those are my uh, those are my most recent pickups. Sweet. Nice. Those are some good pickups, man. I mean, uh, I know GI Joe is killing it right now. Man, I freaking yeah. love Classified series. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. I think I think that's Hasbro's best line, honestly. Dude, it yeah. really is. I think because they don't have like any kind of like board, they don't they don't have to like ask Disney about it. You know, like their yeah. other two big lines are Star Wars and Marvel, and it's like you know they can't do anything without getting the okay from them, right. and they own the, the GI Joe IP, so yeah. it's a lot yeah. uh, a lot less hoops to jump through. Yeah. No, oh, hey, we've cool. got a we've got a question from the chat for Jason. Uh, have you Let's bought go. any of the third party figures? Uh, like from GI Joe. Uh, I think that's what they're referring to, or maybe the he man. Uh, he, maybe he man. No, I didn't even know they. I didn't even know they had third party he man figures. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even sure. Those are just the two things we were talking about when he sent. Yeah. This, so. um, if you want to clear, clarify for us, Ray, we'll uh, we'll answer. Man, for those you. those uh, the the third party transformers are like super super tempting, but like they're su they're they're kind of pricey for me and. I'm worried I'm going to get one and then all of a sudden I'll turn around and I'll have like eight of them. You know what I mean? Uh, you're yeah, talking I'm about Drew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as third party figures, we got to, we got to introduce you to our friend 5k toys and, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. the love hate relationship. A lot of us mm. have with them. Right. <laughs> yeah. Man. Rick says third party figures in general, I assume. Yeah. That's, that's what I kind of assume too. I, I actually don't think I have any third party figures. I uh, you oh, know man. I do have huh. like indie I have indie figures like I mean I've got a bunch of mythic legions, uh cosmic legions, I've got okay. some action force, I've got some savage crucible okay. coming my way. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. I just got the figure mm. from Dan Larson, the little the little the small uh, clear red guy. Uh Okay. But yeah, I think Do you those know are... of like veteran William uh Zest Ray Yeah, Studio that looks awesome. Toy. Yeah, is that a 5K toy? Um you, yes. Yeah. Uh you could have gotten that a while ago. Kind of a while ago. It's been Yeah, like it looks really cool. Now. But I I was literally yeah. looking at um a uh Zest Ray Studio Mon Minotaur today. Yeah. Um, it's just the articulation, uh, the sculpts on like these third party companies are really stepping up their game. They look um, awesome. My only yeah. slight reservation about theirs is it seems like they're a little delicate, but it could I could be wrong. I don't actually own any. Um, OK, so, uh, yeah, like um, Lim Toys did the Last of Us set, you know, the Ellie and Joel. Yeah, um, uh -huh. they're very they're great figures, great set. 
Yeah. But I definitely want to be delicate with them. I did break yeah. the bow on one of them. Yeah. Drew, I, I, I broke the bow. Um, but I kind of <laughs> broke the figure. Yeah. So that's that's good. But yeah, you're right. There are some that are chonkier, and uh, you know, I, I'm not scared. But there are some that are, you know, yeah. smaller, and I got to be careful. You know what? Uh, yeah. I have some acid rain figures. Does that count? And no, I I think that's kind of their own. No, that's thing, its own right? idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, but never mind. But Je Je Jesse, Dang, I'm, I'm so glad close. to hear that you've moved on from breaking figures to breaking accessories. I guess yeah, we can I call mean, this progress. Uh, there you go. <laughs> He's leveled up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, if I if I don't break it, then something's wrong, right? I mean, uh, well, thanks, Jason. That was uh, that's some good pickups, man. You've been hitting those aisles, huh? Is, were those all in the some store? Of were, or some of them were pre-orders. Some of them pre-orders. This was. I was actually shopping for something totally unrelated, and I was like, oh, let's go see what's in the toy aisle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. It hurt. Yeah, no. yeah. When I disappear, my wife knows exactly where I'm at in the store. Like, Just go to the toy <laughs> aisle. Yep. Yeah, I know. You, you, you went to Target for toilet paper, and you came out with yeah. some G.I. Joe's. <laughs> right? As long as you remember the original thing, you're, you should be fine. Not, <laughs> not a too much trouble. All right. Um, I guess I'll go. I'll go next. I guess. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, Jason. Um, so, as you all know, Holothon hit. Um, I did not make it to my local Target for Holothon, but I have a buddy here that looked out for me. Um, thank you so much. You know who you are. Boom! I got the bear, blood drenched nice. oh, wow. arrow predator from NECA. Um, they, I mean, if you have that's freaking cool, the feral predator, the ultimate, you know what you're getting. This one's just a clear one, just covered in blood, basically. Um, it's super cool. You can, I don't have all the accessories on me, you know, you can take the take the mask off. Um, the uh, that's so cool. Backpack is magnetic, so boom. Uh, what, Dude, yeah, I mean, cool. all, the, all the basic NECA articulation that you want and need comes with the tons of accessories the uh the face plates pop out if i can do it but i can't i don't know a face plate pops out you can have different expressions on them it comes with two different face plates but um just super cool figure so um i'm really excited for mythic legions to come out with their bear or maybe spiro toys come out with their bear oh my god yeah um, i think it's awesome then these guys can battle uh but um yeah that's my Recent pickup is the uh, feral predator. So, boom! That's what I got. Nice, very nice. Yeah, that uh, that feral predator might be the best predator they've done so far. I oh, think, hands down. Yeah, yeah you are one hundred percent correct. Awesome. Uh, I've got a lot of predators, um, but this one is just the articulations there. The height is there. It's tall. Um, yeah, you can get in a lot of cool poses, and the dreads are just really cool. It's even got like, like back hair on the back there. You see that? Uh, it's super cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, super cool. Plus, 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 the movie was awesome. The movie was really yeah, it was cool. really good. So yeah, um, yeah. So there we go. That's my NECA. That's my figure of the week purchase. Nice. Boom. But you got uh, so that that means I'm up. True. Well, yeah, let's go. I I did get get a Holothon score, which is the Ooh. Punk Rock Turtles. Uh, but but I haven't opened it opened it up yet. So that is what I wanted nice. to talk about. But because because I was just uh, you know so excited that we were getting Jason on the show. Uh, you know it's funny because a couple of weeks ago uh, Jesse and I were talking about uh, you know Blight, uh, you know oh, which is yeah. the the, the AWOC figure that I have. And mm -hmm. you know, I got I got this this you know vile villains head pack I think is what it's called, mm -hmm. um, because yeah, I love this head. Like this this head is what got me into the line. You know, I was saying on the show before that he kind of reminded me of Koba from uh, uh, the Planet of the Apes movies. Like just right. with the white eyes and the war paint, there's something about this that just looks so uh, menacing. Like he just looks like the bad guy that the other bad guys like keep away because you know yeah 
Yeah, because like this guy looks like, you know, he'll eat your face like Travis the Chimp, you know, and anyone who doesn't know who Travis the Chimp is and you want to be horrified, go ahead and Google Travis the Chimp. No, but so don't Google uh, it. I have. Uh, yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, I had those extra head packs laying around or the extra heads from that head pack laying around. And so, you know, because Jason was uh, coming on the show, I figured, hey, now is probably a good time to justify getting my hands on another one of these figures. And so I got myself a pail. Oh, boy. And, Sweet. and put the uh, the other vile villain head pack on it. The other the other vile. This it's like this was like a baboon kind of guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I I guess Jason, you know, I, and I love both these figures, and I and I think these two complement each other really well as like a yin and yang kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I took the right, the, the exactly, bandolier yeah. off of him to kind of differentiate them a little bit more, but like, right. uh, you know, uh, they just have this yin and yang kind of vibe to them that I'm really really into. So my I guess my first question to you about this line is. With these these head packs, are these? I know a lot of it's based on the comics, which I haven't gotten my hands on yet. But like, are these just general henchmen type characters, or are these unique characters? Once these are head swapped uh, like this, or, um, or is so it the me? so the head packs are just kind of like for henchmen and army building purposes. But uh, the pale pale's our main character. He's like our he man, uh, and Blight is actually uh, an evil clone of him. So. You know, throughout the comic book, he's kind of going from each great animal house and trying to like recruit certain, you know, special warriors and uh, basically like building goodwill with each each community that he, he visits. And Blight's kind of like going back behind him and like you know sabotaging and kind of trying to like ruin his reputation and make him, uh, you know, undermine what he's trying to do, which is like over you know dethrone the the tyrant king uh, Kali. Nice, nice. Yeah, that that Kali, he definitely has the villain vibe too with his armor. He's got For that sure. kind of like like dark emperor kind of vibe to him. But like, right. yeah, this this guy just seems like he's gonna, you know, like he just hates all non animal people. Like any right. humans are like screwed if they meet this right. guy in a dark alley. Right. Know? Yeah, he's a he's a, a rascally fella. Right on, right on. So yeah, that's uh the pale though, the pale with the uh with this head. This is my this is my official pick of the week. This is this is my guy. Awesome, so thanks, man. So, gro a growing AWOC collection over here. I love it. Um, so there we go. Good one. Sweet. Uh, so, Berserk, you got uh, you got a pick for us. What you got for us? Buddy? That brings me and uh, I was actually able to get my hands on this. Nice. Idea. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the, cool. The classic. It's. This one's awesome because it could go on either uh, Smash Brothers shelf or Marvel vs. Capcom shelf. So I'm actually going to order another one because <laughs> I've been having <laughs> no luck at Target. So, you know, Jazz has been doing I don't, great. I don't think those. Yeah, I don't think those are at Target. Um, I think those, I those are. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the Mega Man. I think it's okay. just the Street Fighter. I could be wrong. Street Fighter? Well, BBTS came in came through for this one and they're going to come through for the nice. next one. So, you know, <laughs> as, as long as I it get is, them, I don't mind. It is a really good figure though. Like, uh, Jada is doing a really good job. Oh, with it's the Jada. Yeah, not Jasper. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's Jada doing those. No, all good. Man, they're um, awesome. J uh, yeah. They're doing the street fighter. They're doing the mega man and they're crushing it, man. The, the bang for your buck factor is very high with the accessories and the articulation scheme you get. It's like, you know, it's kind of like your stuff where it's like the, the, the quality is there, you know, and the, the, the bang mm -hmm. for your buck factor is there. The fun factor is there. It's really awesome what they're doing. I, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah, my buddy picked up that Dalsim. Oh, man, I got to oh, find that thing, man. It looks so cool. <laughs> it's it's cool that they did the wire uh, for the arms oh, yeah. and legs. That's so cool. That was a cool surprise. I thought they would just be kind of like static. Yeah, and they oh, gave yeah. the 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 soft goods cape to Bison too, which is pretty cool. Oh, cool! I didn't yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, great pick, Berserk. Yeah. No. No. Uh, rip into it. We, we'll time you. We'll, we'll get, get the timer. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. <laughs> no, no. Nobody wants to hear that. Everybody's gonna. <laughs> um. All right. Well. Cool. Uh. With with that. Um, you know, I think this is one of the rare occasions. Normally we'd go through and, uh, 
each show our pre-order of the week, but I think all three of us are pretty unanimous on what we uh, oh, what really? we want to talk what, about. Mm. What could that be? <laughs> are we so, each going to see a pledge live on the show? <laughs> I sure I sure hope so. Um, but so uh, as we mentioned at the top of the show, uh, our good friend Jason here uh, is uh, uh, the, the the man uh, the ambassador for this uh, fantastic new uh, Kickstarter that's running right now. Uh, for the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom season two or series two, excuse me. Um, and man, some cartoon. of these look, yeah, that would be sick. It, it's you know, I I keep telling people it's like you know the aesthetic is very Saturday morning cartoon, you know, with the, the that, vibrant colors exactly and the fun character for. designs, and yeah, yeah, it's it's fantastic, man. It really so takes. Hopefully, a, it's only a matter of time. To that. Yeah, um, but yeah, Berserk, uh, you got. Uh, you got the Kickstarter to bring up for us there, buddy? I, I, I just had to make sure I was uh, logged out so that... You got to gotta close okay. all the porn tabs? <laughs> there it is. No, I, I, I just didn't, I just didn't want to, oh, you, know, wow. <laughs> you know, flex on everybody with how much I, I pledged. Wow. So. <laughs> 238? <laughs> what? That's insane. Look at it. Yeah. Of, People over, want... You don't take the, any of it for yeah. granted, man. This is awesome. Thank yeah, you all so, so much. Over, this over this double is, what you guys are asking for. Yeah, yeah yeah and and so we we tried to do the the rewards a little bit different this time you know there's some unlocks uh well there's a bunch of unlocks but there's some that is an additional add-on that you can buy uh but you know as we as we started unlocking stuff we started we'd made the decision to just pack in an extra head instead of selling a head pack so uh we feel like that really upped the value and the army building potential for each figure uh so we've got like a bunch of them that are army builders. And then like some of the heads are like just expressive heads of the characters. And we've got this little cheat sheet right here that kind of shows all the, the different kind of body types. And uh, then the, then the great animal house sigils are underneath the, underneath that. And then I guess we can get into the goody stuff, get into the actual figures. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a really, really awesome lineup there. Yeah, I you. love how you're yeah. introducing new bucks for this yeah. series we're, too. The, Let's yeah, we're really wanting to expand our our port our, our parts library. So uh, mm -hmm. this is this is the main reason for the Kickstarter, so that we can get all these essential parts to make just a ton of different animals. Genius. And you know, we're starting off with the reptiles and uh, uh, all the all the reptiles' mouths open and close. And if you look off to his shoulder, you'll see that's the extra head pack in. So he's got a, a more of like a Komodo dragon head and then uh, more of like a, a horny toad head that he comes with. And then the three so, accessories and then the hands, extra hands. I don't, I don't know if I heard this on any other streams, but does he have a tail? No, not. So Is none it? of the animals, none of the animals in animal war, the kingdoms have tails. Uh, once you read the comic books, it'll, it's a little bit more. Uh, gotcha. It, it explains why they, they are lacking that. Uh, tail right <laughs> yeah like that. nothing there <laughs> yeah. just a monkey butt <laughs> well lizards can lose their tails anyways right? that's true so. it's a defensive <laughs> thing so this is our second lizard uh this guy so is again, the one that i'm most excited about yeah. you know what H him and the rabbit are people like it's it seems like people really gravitate towards those two figures uh so his eyes move his jaws move uh, and that little chain whip that he has, you can actually unplug that and use that as a weapon in his mouth. What? <laughs> That's awesome. It's just kind of wow. a fun little, kind of fun, silly thing. <laughs> so so I, I, I got to ask, who whose idea was it to do the individually articulated eyes? Because that is, it would be great even if it didn't have that feature, but just... Right. If, if you know about chameleons, you know that they do that. You they gotta have, have it independently right. Independently moving eyes. So, like, right. who, who came up with that? Because that's brilliant. Yeah. We we want to thank uh, Savage Crucible for doing for for lending the idea to us. It's such an awesome idea. We're super excited that we get to you know implement that into into a chameleon. Because I mean, like, how freaking cool! You gotta have some movement eyeballs on a chameleon. Yeah. What what I'm really excited about is to see what the customizing community does. For I know, because right? If you yeah. know chameleons, like if you just like Google image search Panther chameleon, it's especially crazy, uh, that right? species, 
Some of yeah. their patterns are insane. And I know there's yeah. going to be people who do a, a, an insane oh, God, custom yeah, totally. paint job on this thing to make it nuts. It's going right. to be awesome. I um I had a chameleon years ago. Really? But, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. But they, they once they get to a certain size, they reach sexual maturity and they become yeah. assholes. Like it was oh, really, really? Cool That's for a, a while. It was yeah, cool for a while. Like, you know, you'd huh? chill on your... Yeah, you'd like chill on your, your hand and crawl around slowly, but it got to a point where it just became this biting, hissing monstrosity. And I just went, oh, man, that's okay, a bummer. I'll take it back. Yeah, I, I took it back to this reptile specialty shop and was like, you guys can yeah, rehome him because I, I, can't, I can't deal with this. But they are yeah. really, really cool animals, and I, always, I still have an affinity for them. And just this is like such a cool representation of that critter. So great job on this, man. Thank you. Yeah. I really like amazing. how the the purple on the green you know the yeah, abstract uh -huh. colors are popping like that and it makes it really pop yeah I, lo I mean i love picking out all the colors and uh really bringing the sculpts to life so uh thank you yeah no i'm, yeah. I'm looking at the weapons right here i've noticed that both of them are off the bat have completely different weapon styles yeah they definitely like, do yeah yeah, he's kind of more of a brute force sort of guy, and this is more of like a ninja stealthy sort of vibe. So it, exactly, it fits the, yeah. the species and the character right. really, very well. Yeah, very well done. Very cool character. Here we go. There's so this is our set. first weapon set. And th these are meant nice. for the lizards, but I mean, any of the figures can use these weapons. And like I said, mm -hmm. they're great for you know any sword and sorcery type of uh, figure line. Yeah. Yeah, even for the Mythic Legions people, these would be good. Oh, yeah, totally. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, well, very cool. And then so here here's we got our this first kind of... unlock. This is a, a lizard army builder. Um, his shield can be held left or right, and then he comes with like the, uh, the dual-wielding uh, cleaver-type swords. And again, both of their mouths move. Nice. Can you put the sword in his mouth? Like the chameleon? I don't see why not. Yeah, I mean, oh, it doesn't plug in, but he can like hold it like a pirate. I'm That's from Brick. Oh, man. oh boy, has Gretsch reached sexual maturity? Uh, I'll let Jason field that one or skip it if he wants. You're gonna have to uh, get him. And find out. Yeah, Kato, I just replied Kato's to collection him. reviews. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Nice. There you go. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, good. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, appreciate cool. all so you. So you've got three army builders unlocked already. That's right. Awesome. Yeah, and I love this this graphic here where you can kind of see the different you know looks mm. and stuff. Like you know, you've got the commander with his infantry guys, sort of thing. You right. know exactly uh, yeah yep. being being flanked by his troops or whatever that's really cool yeah these were the thank three you. that that i backed these these three figures. oh cool awesome um, thank so you I'm, I'm in for these guys and I'll, I'll probably end up getting more down the line but that's that's what nice, i'm in for, for sure. initially yeah cool thank you uh this yeah, is our, our next body type this is our brawler body type it's it's a little bit more muscular than this guy but it's not mm -hmm. quite as muscular as the gorilla thane so uh same articulation as pale uh this one will be pinless as well so uh yeah we're super awesome. excited about these these more muscular body types and uh this character comes with just big chunky giant weapons he's got the broadsword and then the that two-handed mace Damn. Yeah. i nice. wouldn't want to meet that guy out on that i know right battle battle, you know what i'm saying man he's pretty broad. fearsome he definitely looks angry. And he does come with an alternate head. We just, uh, the, you, uh, like, as we scroll down, they're, like, all in just one section. But uh, these all come with alternate heads as well and hands. Yeah, King awesome. Adam. Whoop. Yeah. So this yeah. is, our, this our, is uh... our, our main villain in a different form. Uh, and he comes with a removable shield. It's actually plugged into his arm gauntlet. A big uh, two-handed cleaver and then a big... Big two-handed mace. Nice. Yeah, the, the, the sculpt work on that that uh, you know the the mace hammer thing looks awesome. Like with Thank the two. You. Yeah, Arlen did an amazing like job. A, yeah, that thing yeah, looks so great. Arlen and and Dan I love this and, whole. And uh, 
Say again. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was, it's okay. I, I was just gonna say I, I love this uh, this whole concept. It reminds me of Super Shredder. You know, in the right, uh, yeah, in, yeah, in MNT. Like That's you got fun. Shredder and then Super Shredder. So right. like, yeah, this, yeah. this is kind of the thing that reminds me of. But yeah, nice. no, your team did a great job on the sculpt work for this. For, I, I think the armor on the 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 feet, the shield, and that that hammer thing looks so good, so cool. Thank yeah. you. Like like yeah, I said I'm earlier, super like excited the, the about blue it. and the gold. You know, the yeah. blue and the gold conch, they they just pop. You know, you know how to yeah. catch the eye. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the same buff as as the lion. Right. So these are so these three figures that we're looking at right now are all the brawler buck. Okay. Yeah. So this is their weapon like, set. This is perfect for you know any kind of big Hulk, uh, Rhino or Juggernaut, Colossus stuff like that. You could probably have the uh, that gun. You could probably have like maybe uh, I don't know. Let's see, Gung Ho or uh, Roadblock or Sergeant Slaughter. They can hold that type of stuff. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, are are these the first guns that you've had in the line? Are are there? Other uh, no, we had guns? we had guns in Wave One. Yeah. Look, there's one okay. right there. Yeah. They just aren't as uh, prevalent. Oh yeah, there you go. Had had two got different it, kind it. of just but guns. Got it. Yeah, the two I have didn't come with guns, so I, I wasn't sure. But yeah, I mean that's that's a cool option. Cool that that's that's part of the universe. Thank you. Man. This is uh, our next one of our other unlocks. So we're introducing more canines. Uh, this is Grimes. He comes with a pump action shotgun, a Bowie knife, and then it looks like it's a flintlock pistol, but it's got like three barrels instead of one. I think it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that vest and his little uh, the little shotgun shell thing on his arm is removable as well. <laughs> nice. So cool. Yeah, yeah I I own a bulldog. So <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh like, man. Awesome. He's, like the, he's like the sweetest dog in the world. So it's like it's hard Oh to yeah. They seem really chill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, he he looks like he's about to say I'm telling you, it's time right? for a walk. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we right. have two Love Goldens, it. and they're super sweet, but their barks are, like, so mm -hmm. great. They're just, like, really, like, intimidating sounding. And then you see them, and they're like, mm -hmm. I don't know you, but I love you. <laughs> I need you to pet me. Hey. <laughs> All right. So I'm guessing there's not going to be, like, an alternate Maltese head for this body. No, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> he's, not he's, like, he's like he's like chomping down on a cigar. I think mm. it's I think yeah, the no, image that... is right underneath this. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There's there so go. that's there the are. alternate heads. Those are unlocked. Oh, that's cool. Uh and they will that's be packed cool. in with the figure. Ooh. That's awesome. Yeah, the Kali one is great. He looks uh, very upset about a great many things that are going on. He's very cranky. <laughs> it's a cranky pants. Yeah, it's the I stepped. It's the I stepped on a Lego face for sure. Right. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> it's the uh, midnight snack, and someone put back an empty uh, box of cookies. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, the, uh, the the bulldog with the cigar. That's great. It's got a lot of character. Thank you. Uh, Thank really you. very fun. Very fun. Thank you so much. Uh, and that leads us to our third body type, which is the females. Uh, this is Mother Mala, who's the leader of the uh, of of the uh, Chinari House Chinar. Uh, that's Pale's mother. She's got uh, magic effects on her sword and shield, and those flames and ice is removable in case you don't want to display it like that. Uh, her her second head has been uh, revealed as well, uh, but we haven't put it into the campaign just yet. So. She comes with an additional second head and hands. Nice. Oh, man. Once again, the colors are just popping on it. So this, Thank you. sorry, Jason, take it away. But this is the one that other than the elephant that I'm most excited about. That's awesome. Really? Yeah, she's, so this wow. is, uh, that's Kali's wife slash uh, right-hand man, so to speak. Uh, she's a, a, a scientist and an engineer. And she works on a lot of the technology that the, the Horde have, as well as uh, tends to Kali, who's got like this condition. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But yeah, she comes with an alternate head and hands and then all these kind of fun little torture type interrogation type uh, weapons. Mm. She's like the Black Widow of the animal world. Yeah, I think of her like the Baroness, you know, like that's the kind Baroness. of how I think of her. Wow. Mm. 
I like it. Yeah, I like the hair. I like what you did Thank with the hair. You. Red like that. Yeah. I can't wait to get this one. I, I, I like Mohawks. What can you, I say? I do too. I, I'm excited when you that. brought female bucks in, into this. Me one. too. It's, it's you know, once you read the comic, it's so time it's past time to like have those female mm. characters in the in the toy line. Uh this is their weapon set. It's you know it's like it says it's a rogue like a kind of sneak around uh, type of kit for them to dispatch enemies in a in a stealthy way. Sweet. Is there a string on that bow, or is it? We're gonna we're bow? trying to get strings on all the bows. It's just something we have to talk to the factory about. Uh, for sure. Yeah, we we'd really like to have strings on all the bows. Sweet. All right, can awesome. send one over to, to Jesse, see if it yeah. you know, <laughs> withstands the test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> test, test, test it. <laughs> so th this is our, our next unlock. This is a, a female army builder, Jessa, who's uh, the name's an homage to my grandmother, uh, who was from Wyoming. So I thought the, uh, the two uh, laser pistols was a nice homage to the Midwest. And then her uh, secondary head is uh, army builder. Or you can use either one. You know, one can be an army builder, or they can both be army builders. Sweet, looks awesome. good. Yeah, that's I like those good. females. Looks yeah, good. so that's just so, saying that we unlocked the additional heads that are packed in now. They'll they'll be packed in with the figures, uh, and then that brings us to our fourth body type, which is the speedster buck. So they're a little bit more thin and agile. This. Uh, this this rabbit figure actually has uh, 360 ears, similar to how the chameleon had the eyes. This guy's ears will move in a 360 direction, so you can kind of get all kind of expressions out of him. And he's also got a toe articulation as well. Oh, that's awesome! What? And uh, all that's the uh, cool. all the arrows will be removable as well. So, so you got it you had a little bit meat on the foot to play with to, to put toe articulation on there right yeah well it's not it's like the you know the like the midfoot mm -hmm. i don't have any okay. figures nearby that do it hold on a second wait i think i found one hold on dang it hold on wait it's this one <laughs> maybe maybe not so this like that that midfoot thing right there you know what okay. i mean yeah yeah i don't yeah, know what yeah. it's called no, that's yeah. cool. We, that's that's great for the rabbit too, because you want to get that rabbit. Yeah, he really like needed running it. poses, the fast. Right, exactly. Yeah, sure. especially what the what the bull you want to. Right, exactly. Go in. So, yeah. are you saying that the speedsters have articulated toes? I'm sorry, I missed that. Was it's it just, just the rabbit? It's just kanji. It's just kanji for now. I got gotcha. you. Because he's got a big rabbit foot, you know. Mm -hmm. A lucky rabbit's foot, even. <laughs> Right, yeah, that you got two lucky rabbits feet. Uh, so this is our next one. This is uh, Boone. Uh, he's uh, one of the captains, and he's part of the Pirate Guild. Grimes is actually his partner. He's from the Pirate Guild as well. Uh, and he'll have uh, an additional head and then the uh, extra hands as well. And a fixed blade knife and a, a pistol. Yeah, he, he's a really cool design. I really love the uh, – Thank you. The robotic arm you know thank you so much uh, reminds me of like jacks from mortal Kombat or something like mm -hmm. that you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah nice i like that um, i heard you i heard you talk about turbinator on the other stream you're a terminator Dominator. i like i like I, t2 as well but uh yeah I you, can see maybe some you know inspiration from terminator on this one no this is definitely not um if i had to say anything like inspiration wise i would say it may be like treasure planet have y'all watched that cartoon? It's a Disney it's a cartoon. It, Disney one. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of flew under the radar, but uh yeah. maybe a little bit of inspiration from that. You know, I thought that was really cool. Uh, but it's so funny you mentioned the Terminator. I don't think a day goes by that I don't think about the original Terminator. I love Terminator 2, and I think it's really fun. It's the funner feel-good movie, you know. But I don't know, something about the first Terminator. I literally, I was literally thinking about it like like at five o'clock this afternoon, I was thinking about it. It's a good movie. It's great. It's awesome. But it's an awesome <laughs> movie, but like it, it also like something about it speaks to me. Have y'all watched Collateral with uh Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise? 
Yes. Like something yeah. about LA at night, mm -hmm. like is very mm -hmm. like, it's like equally romantic as it is dangerous and, and adventurous, you know? So I don't know, just <laughs> kind of sticks with me. Fun fact, uh, Terminator 2 was my first, officially first rated R movie. No. Oh, that's a good one to break into, yeah. right? My uncle's like, you I think watch. me too. I think I I think I'm on the same page as you. So these yeah. are our, our our assassin's weapon set. It's mostly firearms. Uh, the little gold pistol at the bottom is a stun gun or like a, a stun pistol. Uh, and then he's got like different. They have different kind of like poisons and uh, smoke bombs, acid oh. acid containers stuff. You know. I love all this stuff. So now we're getting into the stuff that hasn't been unlocked, correct? Let's no, this see. is all unlocked. So anything well, this is. that doesn't have a sign on it means oh my that it's gosh. yeah, it's already Crazy. available. So like this guy's unlocked. So this yeah, is another this guy. Army he's really cool. He'll include a, an additional head as well. He he looks like he would pair well with Blight. Uh, very yeah, well, he's, like he's got he's a very for, similar uh, part of the uh, Horde assassin. So. They're in the comic book, like you see these guys, they're kind of like his minions, you know, because they're they're essentially like saboteurs. They're kind of sneaking around and causing mayhem at night, you know, to kind of uh, terrify the uh, other great animal houses. Yeah, he's very cool. Thank you. So we'll be showing images of uh, that stuff soon. We, we awesome. revealed it earlier, but we just haven't updated the page. Cool. Yeah, Can't like you see people, people coming back to the page. And he's like, is there a new update? Is there? Do I got to <laughs> right. up my pledge? I think we've been refreshing it like every other day. I think that's what the schedule is. Uh, this is our event exclusive Whoa. figure, so it'll be available for Kickstarter. And then if we have anything left over, we'll sell it at conventions, and that's it. But uh, he also glows in the dark. So he's he's translucent and glow in the dark, to be clear. Correct. <laughs> yep. That is awesome. Like you had me at you know one. Look at this guy. The other one. <laughs> yeah. Look at that guy. He's so cool. Yeah, that's that's yeah. way awesome. So he's going to come with the little orange baggie of hands as well. Yes, all the figures include additional hands. Yep. And awesome. if it's anything like the accessory set from the first series, this thing's going to glow like the sun. You're going to need. They glow that. so bright. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to glow that bright. I was impressed. <laughs> yeah i know there's a lot of collectors out there that do the translucent or glow in the dark figures i am know. such a sucker for that right you're checking a lot of boxes here for yeah, collectors. You're, yeah. yeah you're, you're not the only one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh so All that's right. our our that's actually our fifth buck that we're going <laughs> to offer a fifth body type if we unlock it or we're, we're going to unlock it let, let's be real uh, we've got the sculpt for it. It looks freaking awesome. Uh, I can't wait to reveal it. Dan, I think is going to have a, a image for us to reveal tomorrow evening. Uh, awesome. but yeah, so we're going to be doing birds and, Sweet. uh, this is, he's freaking awesome. I love it. I'm a little biased. I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> so, so obviously a Raven for Raven. Looks really cool. Yeah, thank Ed you. Edgar Allan Poe would be very proud. Very. I like <laughs> to hope so. so and then we so did a little bit more of a comical type character, a little comic relief character, this bard. Uh, and I thought, you know, he's a bard and he's fun loving and everything, but he 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 might he might need to be handy in a fight too. So we made his uh, loot into a bow and arrow, and he's got I a little like flask. It. it might be wine. We don't know. It's like Schrodinger's <laughs> flask, you know. Could be alcohol. It could be grape juice. We don't know. The the loot with the the turning into the bow and arrow that is so brilliant. Like I I scrolled past this a few times without <laughs> even realizing that. And man, and that I thought just it was so fun, cool. You know? Yeah, I thought it was a fun little idea. Um, we just have to figure out the engineering for it. I've got we've got a couple of different ideas. Uh, so we'll I'm I'm curious to see which uh, solution we we settle on. Yeah, so definitely. I know these are birds and I know that you got the, the wings, the feathers coming off the arms. I am just curious. Um, would you, do you guys ever think you might do a wing peg into the back and have wings coming off? No, uh, 
you know, one of the, you know, before we did the birds, there was, you know, certain things that we wanted to do to make it feel distinct to AWA. Okay. Uh, and so having the wings on the arms was something that we were like really, uh, really set on doing. Uh, I actually really like the way that the, the Thundercats 2011 series did the wings where they're like, you know, like mostly like they have them up here, but they all had them like mid back. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, mm. but yeah, the intent is for the wings to be removable. So, you know, if you want to display them without the wings, you can do that type of stuff. Sweet. Okay. So the, the crow up there, you can take the wings off the arms, huh? Yeah. It'll be kind of similar awesome. to the way the, uh, the birds from, um, oh, cool. the Power Rangers, the birds that, okay. uh, the army builder birds. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I like Very it. Cool. A lot of uh, different ways you could pose them up. That's oh, yeah, awesome. totally. So then after that, we've got a, a villain. Uh, this is Scathing the Necromancer, and he comes with a bone whip and a uh, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, staff. Mm -hmm. This yeah, one. This guy looks cool. fantastic. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he looks super evil. He definitely looks like uh, he's going to conjure some uh, Just a, less than pleasant, pleasant stuff mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah, he's up to yeah. no good. Opening some portals. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh yes. And the bone Dark. whip is awesome. That's, yes, we that's got a the really bone cool whip. weapon. I would really like to try to sneak a uh, metal in it, but uh, you know, a wire. I'm just concerned about it degrading and, and breaking down over time. Well, that's you mentioned on other streams that you're going to make uh, like a, a a circle that you can right. attach a, to the a, head one that's or something. Curled up, yeah, that can just kind of like mm -hmm. fit up. Coil the head. up. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the oh, action pose and you got the right. Exactly. Pose. Yeah. Yeah. A, a wired yeah. one would be cool though. And I, I, I did like right. how Mezco implemented it for the Michelangelo in their new set where they kind of yeah. threaded it through the chain so that you can, Oh, that's cool. The, uh, that's a neat idea. The nunchucks like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So something like that would be cool. But even, even if it's just a, a sculpted one, man, like if you're providing two, one wrapped and one action, like that covers most right. of your bases right there. Right. Yeah. I think um, so. so. Either way, it's, it's going to be it's cool. A good, it's a good uh i mean it, it satisfies both uh display I mean, bone whip like what right awesome. <laughs> <laughs> i mean bone come whip. on now <laughs> yeah whose whose bones are they is, is the next logical question right? i know <laughs> that's for the that's for the uh, choose your own adventure to decide the tail from the lizards that's why they don't want to have tails <laughs> <laughs> that's actually good i like that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so this will be uh, this will be the alternate heads. Okay. Okay. So that unlocks the three three thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Weapon set and then the alternate heads. Yeah. Okay. So and those those that, will, assuming those unlock, they'll be back to back. Yeah. Right. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, and then we've got the ox, who's going to be using the brawler body, and uh, we need to add the weapons. That's we'll probably add the weapons tomorrow. He uh, he definitely reminds me of the Tauren from World of Warcraft. Oh you know, man, I haven't the, played the, that. Oh yeah, yeah, the bull race, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Was that a panda race too, or is that my imagination? There, yeah, that cut co that comes a little later. That's the okay, the, the, cool uh, Pandaria expansion. But yeah, yeah. The, there there is like a like a, a bull type people because reminds me a little bit like that. That's uh, cool. Obviously, an ox not a bull, but uh, he's he's really cool, Same really thing. awesome. Same difference. Uh, is, yeah. <laughs> is World of Warcraft still doing expansion packs? Yeah, yeah, they Dude, are. There's a couple impressive. versions of it running right now. There's like there's the World of War there's World of Warcraft Classic, which is like yeah. the game as it was in like 2008, and then the wow. modern version, which is you know I don't even know how many expansions deep they are. I think uh, wow. the Dragonflight was the last one, and they got another one wow. coming out this year, I think. So they're still going strong. That's impressive. That's so cool. Um, but this guy looks cool. I hope he gets unlocked. Uh, the the green yeah, I mean, and gold scheme. We're gonna me unlock all this bit. stuff. It's all good. Yeah. And then and then we got our big old giant chunky monkey elephant man guy. Yeah, Mamba. Now this is this is kind of the star of the show here, right? Like this is the one that people. Yeah, are everyone's really, really, really excited for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be about um, about the same height as the. Um, the uh, Mythic Legion uh, Ogre. Oh, wow. So he's going to be real big. 
He'll be big. I mean, he'll almost be as wide as he is big, too. That's awesome. Yeah, no. If That's there's really any awesome. figure here yep. that says final boss, it's this one. Right, exactly. It's a great it's a great boss fight figure. It's uh it's gonna look, you know, it's gonna be a showpiece because it's a big old giant uh warrior elephant who's not gonna be like, whoa, what is that? Tell me about that figure. Tell me more about this guy. Yeah, definitely. And so I, I, you know, I remember you talking, um, I think it was maybe on, on paralleled or door clear, one of the other streams that you're saying that the, um, uh, the tusks are, are going to be swappable for battle damaged ones. And yeah, we want to have like, like a, a battle a damage type. Yeah, bit. exactly. Yeah. And then we'll probably not for this figure. We'll probably tool up a bunch of different, like, uh, shaped tusk. That way we can, you know, reoffer different type of elephants and such. Nice, nice. Yeah, this is a, a great concept, and uh, this looks like it'd be a really, really fun figure, especially with like extra hands and things like that. Right. I can only imagine yeah, what toy photographers do... are going to do. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really fun figure uh, and a big old, just beefy piece of plastic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So all, all um, it needs is some chains hanging off of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so cool that so, they did that. So I, I know there, there are some people out there who are like, this is the one I want. This is the figure I want. Like the other ones are cool, but this is the one I want to back. And I don't know if it's going to unlock or whatever. How do I just back for this one? And I know that there is a way for people to do that. Can you can you walk people through what, yeah. uh, what the process so, is? So there's a really simple way to do that. So uh, the figure on the Kickstarter is going to be $89. So backers could just simply go in back for no reward and just put in $89. And then as soon as he unlocks, you can switch their, their reward to Mamba. Uh, if he unlocks like super late in the campaign, like, you know, like in the last seconds of the campaign, don't panic. Uh, you you put the $89 in. So you'll be able to select him in the backer kit as soon as the backer kit goes live. But yeah, if, if you don't, if you can't wait for him to quote unquote officially unlock, just go ahead and back for $89 and just select no reward until he officially unlocks. Awesome. It's great that that's an option. Cause I know that there's, there's a lot of people out there who are drawn to this figure in particular. Definitely, and I can't yeah, blame totally. them. It's, it's, it's going to be oh, an yeah. impressive, spectacular piece. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and again, I think it's going to have a lot of appeal just outside of the people who are interested in this line, you know, mythic legions people and, and right, whatnot. exactly. Uh, anyone yeah. who's into any sort of sword and sorcery, uh, mythological fantasy type stuff, I think are going to be into right. this. Definitely, um, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, no sleep till Mamba. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, hope, hopefully, ev we get everything, all of this stuff, man, because uh, this I is a great all. line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, and there, there's more? There's a little bit extra stuff. Oh, wow. Uh, tonight we revealed uh, a rhino figure. And then uh, under him, there'll be a hippo figure. Wow. Oh, so cool, man! That's that's awesome. Hippos are awesome. People associate them with like, you know, being kind of cutesy or whatever. But they are oh, gnarly. No. <laughs> they, they kill way more gnarly. people than like a crocodile or a lion does. Uh, he'll yeah. have an open and closed mouth as well. Oh, sweet! I was that's, that was my question. Yeah, I watched a video actually the other day where this uh, this crocodile was like trying to eat a baby hippo. Yeah, and those in in the herd of hippos were like, uh, uh, I don't that's, think no, so. You don't mess with us, and they ripped right. the croc apart, dude. It was crazy. Good. I was like, holy cow! A lot of like, weird. yeah, you think they're you think just because they're kind of chubby, they're not these little giant massive balls of muscle, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you think you know multicolored, hungry, hungry hippos, but they're right. They're it's like one colored death train, death pig. Yeah, yeah. Like, it well, just reminds uh, me of uh, Jumanji too. When like, what was it? Kevin Hart gets eaten by the hippo. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Remember yeah, that? he got eaten. Jumanji yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, and and hopefully. Uh, uh, people won't use that rhino to try to recreate that Ace Ventura 2 scene. Cause... Oh, my God. <laughs> nah. I wouldn't do that. As long as they post uh, on, uh, like an Instagram art yeah, photography. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, you know, you, you guys know what you're looking at here. I mean, obviously, the bottom line is the epic all in. Um, you're going to get all this. It's, it's it, it brings that value up to unlock all this stuff. So if you guys are on the fence or anything, like, this is it. Go all in. If you can't, we understand, um, you know, people, people, uh, you know, have families and lives and all that stuff, too, that is priority. But if you can throw in $89 for the elephant, whatever, just that little bit will help us unlock so much more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah. You know, uh, don't wait. Um, Kickstarter is. There's no point in waiting or anything. Yeah, you don't you know get built to yeah. the very end. So. Don't 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 yeah. be a butthole, as our friend Adam always says about right. these things, because <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get charged at the end, regardless. Yep. Um, whether you back it right now or like right before in the five minutes before the campaign closes, you're gonna get charged at the same time. Right. So it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter when you back it. The sooner you back now. it, the sooner we get those numbers up, the and the sooner we unlock Mamba and all of the stuff. So. <laughs> Uh, definitely get on that if you're on the fence, because honestly, and I was telling Jason right before he came on and we did the show that, you know, we're the three of us, me and, and uh, Berserk and Jesse, we're all genuine fans of the figures and the Heck products. Yeah. Like, we don't Thank really have to, to, sh to shill too hard here. Like, we're genuinely excited to have him on the show and genuinely excited to, to be talking Thank about this stuff and to, and to get the stuff on on. Uh, uh, to get the stuff in hand so all these figures look great it's really cool that you guys are branching out into like different animal types because i know the previous waves were very like ape and cat heavy which is cool right. but Definitely. like to see some like reptiles and other right, kinds exactly. of stuff yeah um, that's what's so exciting so, like, about what we're what we're going to be offering it, it just really expands the uh the animal variety potential so Absolutely. i know a while back um i wanted female figures you brought it. Thank you very much. Um, my, I do plan. have a, I do have a question for you though. Um, okay. I know we're talking about other animals, other creatures, stuff like that. Um, I know you mentioned maybe a possibility of insects uh, further down the line. Maybe uh, cicadas. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Drew, Drew down here is a big insect fanatic, so he would love oh, cool. to see some insects. Me personally. Um, I mean, I'm thinking outside of the box. I'm thinking like water creatures, fantastical creatures, urban legend creatures, uh -huh. Bigfoots, this and that. I know you have a comic story, all that stuff. I'm just wondering, maybe potentially thumbs up or thumbs down. That's that's so, all I want to know. So we, so whenever we get asked those kind of questions, our the way we release action figures is by featuring them in the comic book so mm -hmm. anytime you see a character in the comic book that's got like a bit of a speaking role it's a good indication that it's like in development but we also have little easter eggs just peppered throughout the comic book as well so what's fun is like the first issue shows both the ox and the elephant and like that was just something at the time we were hoping to do and now, you know, people will be, they'll be reading issue one that came out in March and they'll be like, oh, cool. They're like offering those two characters on the Kickstarter, you know? So that's the way we, we offer figures. That's kind of our like figure release schedule is like peppered and snuck into the comic book. Yeah. So get the comic is what you're telling me. I know Absolutely. I have not, I'm sorry. I've not read the comic, but I know no, that's that okay. there's vehicles in the comic. There are definitely vehicles in the comic book. Yeah. And there's steeds and stuff too. There's a bunch of really cool stuff. Yeah. Like, um, like Jesse said, I, I do really like insects, uh, just really invertebrates in general. Um, yeah. in, and, you know, there's one creature. I saw it briefly mentioned from a chat in one of your other streams, but there's one creature that's probably my favorite animal in the world. And that's the, that I'd like to see a figure character of. And that's the peacock mantis shrimp. Oh Peacock yeah. Mantis shrimp was that you that is, mentioned it, that the other day? It, it wasn't me, but I, I was watching that stream and I saw that and I was like, man, that's what I was going to mention to Jason when, when he it's was on funny because it's almost like a lobster tail with like this little, yes. like the little punching puppet. Correct. It's, it's so enjoyable anyone, to watch them uh, take out their, their prey. Yes. Anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, they're these bizarre little shrimp lobster creatures with these appendages that are tucked underneath their body and they shoot them out to, to punch uh, their prey. Uh -huh. And when they shoot them out, it shoots out with the, the velocity of a 22 caliber bullet as it exits a gun. Uh, they can shatter awesome. aquarium glass and they have like some of the most, uh, 
uh, powerful eyes in all of the animal yeah, kingdom. So there's like a lot wild. of qualities about them that I think would make for like an interesting character in this world, in my opinion. But hey, mm -hmm. you know, you guys, you guys got your your stuff covered, so you don't you don't need any yeah. any input for. Me. I mean, there's a million insects out there, but I think one for me, I don't, I don't know. I think a praying mantis would just go perfect yeah. in this. I place. really love uh, praying like mantis it. and dragonflies. Those are like those are my oh, two favorites. So cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, uh, uh, we we covered uh, past, present, and future. We talked about the Kickstarter. Um. Thank you so much, Jason, for uh, uh, taking the time to uh, to hang out with us. We know you've been uh, doing your whole world tour uh, across all of these uh, toy tube shows, and uh, you know we're a newer, smaller channel, so we really appreciate you uh, uh, taking the time to hang out with us. Yeah. Oh man, so it's, it's been a pleasure. I had a, I had a fun time, and it was cool seeing which which toys y'all picked up and which one your your archive figures that you're still thinking about. Yeah, right on, man. yeah, we enjoyed too. Yeah, and you know, we know it's late over there in Louisiana, so thank you stay, for staying up late. Yeah, late, thanks for know, having me. Talking toys. I hope you had a lot of fun. Talking I did. Toys. I had a great time. Right on. Yeah, that's that's what Yo, we like. Don't to do forget here. to follow us at at Spiro Toys on Instagram. Heck yeah, we've got almost yep. a thousand more followers since we launched a Kickstarter, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Definitely awesome. Um, yeah. Well. We know that your Kickstarter has funded, so congratulations on your success. Thank you very uh, much. Let's just hope for more unlocks, and I, I personally cannot wait for season three. I know you get your cooking on too right now. I know. I cannot wait to see what you're going to bring us for season three. This thing is I, I, phenomenal. I, we we got some awesome far. stuff. And, you know, <laughs> any, anyone that's, like, on the fence about backing and, like, wanting to back at the last second, just go ahead and back it now. Back it sooner than later. And just kind of hang out and enjoy watching all the unlock images be uploaded. Yeah. And you did uh, say that you timed this perfectly for those tax returns to hit. Right, exactly. The to hit at the right time. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> you oh, yeah. That's good marketing that. right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we want to make it on easy as every as easy as possible for everyone to get them mm -hmm. awesome toys. Heck, yeah. Fantastic. Well, uh, Berserk, right. do you want to you want to sign us out of here? Uh, yeah. Before, um, just wanted to cover a few more things. Um, in case you know we didn't get to any other questions anybody you know wanted to hear, let me pull up these. Uh, where are you? Let me pull up. Wait, the... Do we miss a question? Yeah. Um, no, just to, right. just in case. I know it's. We're out of time, so I just wanted to point out that you know you're in the middle of a world tour. All these other channels that you've hit up, <laughs> yeah. You know, here's a, yeah. I'm pulling up, yes. uh, some of your past appearances right here. You know, all great information there. Um, always good. Yeah, to go back. Yeah, and we. And we see some friends of the channel in there too. Uh, shout out yeah. to Wade uh, on Paralleled and uh, Jay Shot and Machu, really good friends of uh, ours, good friends of the channel, collecting brothers, highly articulated. All you guys, uh, lots of love uh, to the whole community. Yeah, great stream on collecting brothers, by the way. I really enjoyed oh, thank that. You. Um, yes, actually, Berserk, uh, there is a question from Austin M. Maybe we can cover that real quick. Um, if you see it, if not, I'm going to read it. He says, yeah, Jason, uh, uh, he says, oh, Jason, quickly, if possible, will both guns and melee weapons get storage on characters like holsters, sheaths on figures? I That's a great question. Possibly getting holsters. Yeah, we're talking. Uh, uh, I want to I want to uh, talk to to Dan about uh, switching out some of the pouches for Jessa for holsters. You'll notice that Boone has holsters, so I, I do want to do that. Uh, we're also working on like a generic strap, uh, and then that'll go across the chest, or you know, mm -hmm. like this. And then there'll be like specific back plugins for the weapon holders. Nice. Yeah, I know this guy right here. He's got a little, little. Uh, right. That's what the little back I plug guess. is. Yeah, Join the club, Thanos. Um, but maybe like a little couple of loops or something that you can hang. Right. Uh, yeah. So the, the so the little plug, here. the little hole in the back is for like plugins. 
her mm -hmm. backpacks yeah, and like weapon storage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where the weapon storage is going to plug into. Nice. Oh, you've got this all thought out already. What am I doing? <laughs> <On top. laughs> they know what they're doing over there. I like it. They do. We they got do. ideas. We got <laughs> thoughts in our head. Uh, Austin says, just a holster specifically so that answers yeah, perfectly. And yeah, brawler storage? Yeah. Oh, right on. Next, so uh, next stream that is currently locked in is Friday with Mad Hatter. Maybe some All others right. in between. Oh, Stay sweet. tuned. Just brick something. Yeah, Mad Hatter, he's a great guy. I uh, I hung absolutely. out with him a little bit last year at, at Comic-Con, and uh, he was super nice. And what's refreshing about him is that, you know, he's pretty much the dude that you see in his reviews and on his yeah, channel that's like, when nice, you talk right? to him. Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, there's, he's not doing like a character yeah. or a shtick or anything. Right. He's just, he's just yeah. that guy. Yeah, he's just yeah. a nice, cool, yeah. mm -hmm. chill guy. Yeah. Right. And totally. um, congrats yeah. to him too, because he just yeah, man, they kicked ass, down. right? That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. They did great. Yeah, another, oh, another successful Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Lots of that going around. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um so yeah, for those of those those uh watching who aren't aware, uh, we are running our usual monthly uh photo uh showcase contest, the uh, Nexus showcase. Um, so be sure to uh, submit your music themed uh, toy photos. The theme for this month is Let's Jam. So uh, post your music themed toy photos and uh, make them a collaborative post with our page, the Collection, Collection Nexus. Tag us and use the hashtag NS Let's Jam in the caption and you'll be entered in the showcase. At the end of the month, we will uh, talk about all of the entries, highlight them and uh give some stuff away courtesy of our good friend machu toys at uh between two sentinels so uh keep an eye out for that um uh jesse who's who we got next week yeah so next week uh i've got fabster from acba oh Join my boy I, I know yeah. that guy <laughs> yeah nice. can't wait to talk to him heck yeah love it get some That's some hair awesome. tips from the guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot lots of love to the acba crew for sure oh yeah he's he's like me um, he hasn't watched men 97 neither he's not a cartoon guy <laughs> i want to watch it i can't wait to watch it i just haven't had the time so yeah rave reviews everywhere i know i heard uh you've been watching x-men 97 jason or you, you're too bad i canceled my disney plus uh ah. oh. i got I just got so aggravated because it was so hard to log in. Like it was like I, I put up for with it for two years, where like it would just I'd be able to log in no problem for like two months, and then like literally for like a whole like month, I just, out. just randomly wouldn't be able to log in, and I was like, come yeah, on, and no, I'd pay okay. like I'd pay like yearly. I think I had it for three years before I was like, I give up. Yeah. I just started buying yeah. all the Disney movies off of Amazon. I was there like, this works go. every time. Yeah, I don't care. I got kids, so. I, yeah, I, I yeah, it. but that's the thing is, I just download it on. I download, I buy it off of Amazon Prime, and then I just watch it there like that. Go. So we Ray, still, I Ray, still Ray have like Paz a ton says, of Disney uh, Ray Pass says mad at Disney. Meanwhile, it's his internet with a little. It, it, it probably is. There. It probably <laughs> is, but I don't know. So it's just All messing right, with you, Jason. <laughs> no, it's true. Well, Jason. I, I agree. <laughs> Hey, um, thank you well, so yeah. much, Jason. It's been oh, yeah, a lot thank of fun. you so much for having me. I appreciate me. everything. Uh, you, you, it's been awesome, and congratulations. I cannot wait to see what's what's in line in the future and just all your success. I'll, I'll be watching. We'll all be watching from afar and playing with your toys. So I'm super Thank y'all so much. Y'all are great. I had a great time. I hope y'all have a, a great night and, and your work week goes by quickly. <laughs> Bye. All right, <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, no, uh, basically covers it all for Jason. Uh, anything else we got going on? Nope. No. That's, uh... <laughs> no. That's, that's, that's it. I mean, uh, you can find me at uh, Toy Box of Doom on Instagram. Um, and yeah, see you next week. You can find me at Jurassic Jesse on Instagram. All right. I'm Berserk69. Uh, all over anywhere they're talking about action figures that's where you'll find me yeah 
And uh, thanks again to Jason for watching. And uh, thanks yeah. to all of or for, for being here. And thanks to everyone for watching. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, if, so, you, if you haven't uh, uh, liked and subscribed and all that lame stuff, please do that. It is helpful <laughs> to us in growing the channel and bringing you guys more of this content. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Go follow Jason on at Instagram Taylor. at Spiro Toys. Spiro Toys. All right. All right, guys. Yep. Thanks so much. All right. And we're out. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. Thank you all so much.